Okay, so let's get going on to... What is the next place we need to go here? Looks like Riften is the last one. So let's actually catch the, um, the wagon out here. The cart. The cottage, if it's here. Car dojo? Yes? Okay. I'm assuming you agree with me. Mainly because walking, well, walking all that way will it, it'll be quite the adventure, certainly. But um, I think we've got quite enough adventures on this road. To be honest with you. All right. So, oh, sorry. Riften, sir. Need a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? Let's see, I want Riften. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Glad to hear it. You might run into some of them lizard folk in Riften. Quite a few of them work the docks there. Not sure why. They like swimming in the lake, maybe. Uh, okay, so we made it. Mostly uneventful. Well, very tired and whatnot. Let's see here. Check needs. Uh, what's what, how we feel? Hungry, a little thirsty, very tired though. All right, so let's actually eat a little bit before we go in. Very low on the meats, but that'll get me through. Riften is renowned for its fishery. I would very much like to taste the salmon steak, or perhaps Chef Welling, a flounder marinated in tomato sauce. Well, I will make sure you get that, Kadojo. Provided they let us in. Um, I can get in? Yes, thank you. Okay, so let's see here. We need to go to an inn here called the Bee and Bob, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, hello. Female Khajiit? Mm -hmm. Okay. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good... Uh, okay, so let's get going here. Kadojo. I don't know why there's dogs running around the city here either. Um, mm, well, uh, hopefully Percy's been here. I'm assuming he's probably far ahead of us in uh, putting up the recruiting signs. So we'll hopefully find the new recruits. At least one, maybe two or three here. Good. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Oh, good. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the Handmaiden of Kine. No, no, Maramo. We talked about this. Talon? <coughs> Kirava, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Marama. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace. Strangely enough, I'm actually in agreement with the, uh... The priest there. This place is a dead in iniquity. Alright, so let's see here. You. No, you. I think you're with the Thieves Guild. You look shifty. You too. Someone here must be a new crew. These guys look local. How about you? You in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Oh, uh, well, i actually quite hungry. I would like to eat some fish. Are you a fisherman by chance? Only the best in all of Riften. I own Riften Fishery. Oh, good. Started out with a single fishing pole, and now I have an entire building and two boats to my name. Not bad for a middle-aged Nord, eh? Too bad I haven't had the same success helping this city shed its poverty. And even Nord thinks I'm wasting my time trying. But I disagree. Hmm. I sound quite charitable. Yes, I suppose someone has to be around here. 
Have you seen the condition of this sorry excuse for a city? Beggars roam the streets, crime runs rampant, and the threat of war is driving away business. The paltry amount of coin that I place in the charity box at the temple is the least I can do to help. Yes, so is this uh, Nivenor? That's your wife or something? Nivenor is my wife. How I was ever able to meet such a gorgeous creature is one of life's mysteries. We're at odds about my charity. She thinks the people in this town have become lazy and expecting a handout. I tried to include her in my lessons from Mara Mall over at the Temple of Mara, but she prefers to shop instead. Different strokes, eh? Well, honestly, I think she's right on one thing. The whole handout thing. Being overly charity... charitable, uh, well... I don't know. I'm sort of against it, but, uh, well... Who buys all your fish, by the way? I sell my catch across a good portion of Skyrim. It's worth its weight in gold to me. The only untapped market left is Markarth. However, I just got word that Klepper at the Silver Blood Inn might be interested. Hmm. If you're headed that way, I would appreciate you delivering a purchase agreement for me. You'd be paid, of course. You know what? I know what that inn is. I, that was actually, actually the first, very first inn I've stopped at here in Skyrim. So yes, I know what it is and I will... I don't know when I'll get there, but uh, I will do it for you. Good. Klepper will pay you as soon as you arrive with the letter. Here you are. Glad to be of service to you. Remember to give at the temple. Well, I don't mind giving it's just as long as it falls into the right hands, you know what I mean? Hmm. I don't actually see. Are you a local or what? Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Hmm. Well, I'm not really looking for work. I was looking for people to hire, which is quite the opposite. <laughs> Um, thank you anyway. Until next time. Yes, yes. Um, how about you? Argonian, uh, you s what brings you drifting? As you can see, there are many of my kind here in this town. They all said, come to Riften and make yourself a new life here. So one and one comes. And for what? There is nothing for me here. What would one and one do? Work in the fishery? Join the thieves? I'm not a thief, and I hate fish. That's blasphemy, that you hate fish. Oh, well, <laughs> all right, fine, uh, let's see here. Uh, well, I could hire you in Helgen, if you'd be willing to move from Riften, such a wonderful place that it is, as you can see. Because we're looking for experienced guards in Helgen. Um, we hang, we hung a notice here, so if you saw it on Reddit, uh, what do you think? Yes, finally you came. That's the only reason I know leave this place, but Juan Andun was about to give up on you. Oh, really? Uh, having experience uh, doing these things? Oh, but yes. Juan Andun is equally skilled in steel as well as stealth. I am now practicing my skills with the big sword. But I am able to use my bow any time I need to. Juan Andun has not much use for the magic arts, but can heal self if I need to. Hmm. All right, well, we'll take you, but um, you can make it to Helgen on your own, that is. Oh, like a test, and if I make it there, I pass. Very clever. Yes, I do that a lot, strangely. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Wow, he really does have a big sword. What a crap. Well, um, probably have all the recruits we need. What you? My skill in battle is unmatched. Fortunately for you, that skill can be bought. For how much? Oh, 500. Hmm. Not the times, perhaps. If you change your mind, seek me out here. Yes, it's a bit too... Why settle for just stabbing your foes when you can roast them alive in a gout of arcane fire? You know, honestly, we would love to hire you, but it's just a bit too high for a local god. Um, thank you anyway. I guess we've got what we came for. I want get some. I need some food, however. Kirava, that was your name. Yes. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. Oh, okay. So apparently they don't mind Kajitia, but <laughs> hey, uh, let's see. 
Let's see, how about the, some food? Take a look. Need some food for the road. Um, baked potatoes. Beef stew. Dog meat stew. Yes, that would be so good. Some more herbal tea. Sweet roll. Yes. And, well, everything else would probably go bad, so... And how about the room for rent? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Yes, thank you, my pretty. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Yes, right this way. I better get out of her way. She needs a very wide berth, apparently. So, mm. at the least, um, let's see here. Very thirsty, very tired. Well, while well, she's going up there. And one of the baked potatoes. Very full now. Take the herbal tea. Both herbal teas should be enough. For now, we'll just follow her up. That's her friend. I was watching this place. We got like two thieves here waiting to rob her blind and there's no one to watch the place. That's very strange. Your man should be watching the store while you're up there doing this thing. I... man... I don't know. Shouldn't be telling you how to you do your Let job. Let know if there's anything else you need. Just you getting the hell out of my room. Not gonna happen? Yes, I figured as much. Well, I guess you can watch me sleep. That's not too disturbing or anything. And let's see. About uh, 10 hours, yes. Ah, wow. That was a good sleep. And thankfully, she wasn't watching over me all night long. But you were. That's a little disturbing, a card dojo. <laughs> I mean, you could have gotten yourself a room, you know. But apparently, you don't care. Uh, hopefully you got some sleep, because honestly I'm not quite sure exactly where um, where this carriage will take us, how close. We might have to do some, some traveling by foot later on today, depending on how far the carriage takes us. So let's see here, let's check our needs again. Hungry, thirsty. Never ending battle against my thirst. Stool. I'm thirsty and I am full. Very good. Let's go to the carriage now. Go along. Oh, good. Ah, Kadojo. At least we'll have the dab that be done. Oh, hold on one minute. That looks like the Khajiit caravans here. Oh yes, I've seen you before. Didn't I see you at uh, Dawnstar when I sold that skooma back to you? Yes, I am clean now. So many refuse to talk to us. They call us thieves and smugglers. I am glad to see that you are not such a one. Yes, well... Take a look. You remind me of my aunt. So, I have no sexual attraction to you, woman. Just in case you are wondering, you're a bit older for me. Alright, uh, so that... Uh, keep that just in case. Oh, my prison clothes. They were so nice to l let me keep my prison clothes. Isn't that nice of them? Yes, that was very, very nice of them. Uh, anything else here we need to say? Not really. And a couple garnets. Get rid of those. And what else do you got? Well, you don't seem to have a whole heck of a lot here that I want. Hmm. Could you always use the healing potion? No to the skooma. No. Cooked beef. Yes. All right. Very good. No moon sugar either. That's even more tempting. And I suppose that's it. Good enough. May your road lead you to warm sands. Yes, I've heard that a lot lately. Fortunately, it's very, very cold here. I very much want to use the sand. <laughs> I need to use the bathroom here, actually. That's sort of what I'm saying. Alright, hey. Uh, you look different. Need a ride? 
Yes, uh, what do you take? Where do you want to go? Uh, let's see, the Valkyrie is probably closest... Yes, unfortunately Valkyrie is probably the closest place to where we need to go, or we could go to Wantharan. And go Falkreath. Climb and back and we'll be off. Alright. Ready to go yet? Yes, I... Ready to go yet, yes. Well, because I took a dump in the back, so... Oh, steady. Yes, I'm all clean now. I told you, get in here. Yeah, it's quite a wonderful trip, that was. But the carriage doesn't even actually stay here. So unfortunately. Yes, let's see here. Well, how are we feeling? Hungry, thirsty, tired once again. Well, you know, I'd, honestly, I should just uh, go there straight now. But, um, I don't know. I could stop here for the night. But I'll go in the morning. Okay, so, beginning of another beautiful day in wonderful Skyrim. Still raining. Alright, let's get going here. I'm going to hell again. I don't know if I took that road that way. I don't know if we can get through that wall. I mean, I could try climbing it again. Yeah, goats in the middle of the road, woman. What's wrong with you? Little girl. Get rid of that goat. Alright, fine. Let's just go the long, stupid way around. Annoying the hell out of me. We've traveled these roads before, though, so they're not gonna be very. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. You might want to think about it because honestly, I saw an attack in, uh. in uh, Winterhold. And they, well, killed quite a few people in town. Not a very pretty sight. Not pretty at all. Alright, well, let's just get going here. Alright, hungry once more. And outside the gate. Come alongside. Yes, another <laughs> editorial note here, outside of character. Yes, I did fast travel. That's quite honestly, quite honestly, I get a little tired of doing the walking. Same stupid roles over and over again. Now, I'm a little bit confused here by the fact that both gates have locks on them. And Duraz, I'm not really sure I even have any uh, lock picks with them. How am I going to get in here? Apparently I do have some lock picks, but uh, his skill level is very low. So this is out of character here, obviously also again, because I don't know if this is something broken with the mod, why it's relocking the doors, but... Helgen Reborn, in case you're wondering. Apparently I have to pick the lock to get into my own place. Unless they open up the other gate or something. Don't know. It's my first time through this. Apparently we have a flag now, though. Right, let's get back in the character here. All right, all right, all right. Let's go look around here, God Dojo. See what has changed. So we got some hired workers here too. <laughs> Don't look familiar though. Good work getting rid of these these stones and things. That's very good. They got a few flags up. Apparently we're making a claim to the place or something. Our friends here. What you did in that prison when we got coursed? Let's just say I was impressed. Oh, well, glad to hear that. Uh, if I were you, I would be impressed too, because I am awesome. Thank you. I am a humble Khajiit. Alright, let's go see here. Where do we need to go? Um, cost! Uh, that's the new recruits. Hopefully they meet to your satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's what nice. you did for cost and the rest of us. Thank you, friend. No, not cost. I thought you were cost for a few seconds there. So where is cost, by the way? Hello? I don't even want to talk to me now. Hey, you're not too happy with your new job, huh? Oh, you over here. Patsy! Oh, yes. Patsy. So where is cost? Ah, oh, the door is open! Ah. Why didn't you people tell me? What now? Where's cost? 
Anything up here? I'm just taking a look around here. What, see what they fixed. Looks like they fixed the tower. Eh, hey, mostly. See, we got the door all broken up here. Alright, well that's good. I mean, progress is being made here, Kadojo. I'm very happy for this. And they got the door open, so next time we go to Falkreath, there'll be a more direct route. Rather than going all the way around. The long way. And there's no door on this side. So apparently we can use this side now. You look very happy now. Kadojo's quite happy. We can go this short way from Falkreath. Okay, so let's go. Talk to these guys whose names I've forgotten already. You are in cost. I don't see cost on here though. You, what's your name Nothing again? New to talk about right now, friend. Oh, Stay friend. safe out there. Yes, yes. All right, so let's go downstairs. I'm assuming they're down where they were before, but it could be over here. They were tricksy last time. Huh? Are you here? Some of you are here. Uh, I don't remember who I'm supposed to talk to. Val. Let's talk to, talk to Val. Falco. Do I know you? Yes. You're new here. This must be a groundskeeper. Some sort they hired. Alright. Val, am I supposed to talk to you? You reunited a couple of old war horses, friend. Thank you. Oh, the stories we could tell you. <laughs> And apparently you're not supposed to talk to. Ah, oh, friend is Marcus, probably downstairs, and the name is coming back to me now. See, Kadojo, I'm taking one too many hits in the head, and I'm forgetting, so now I remember. His name is Marcus Jonas, and that's the guy I'm supposed to be finding here, talking to. So, Marcus, where on earth are you? Marcus, Marcus. The Civil War, it's... It's bad for Skyrim. Let's hope it ends quickly. Yes, let's hope it does. Um, apparently you're not the one supposed to talk to either. So let's check the journal, so we can actually get the... Let's see. I found all the recruits and she'll return the cost. Okay. Well... You know what? We completely forgot to go to Shear Point. Stupid me. I will get that some other time. Alright, so, cost, where the hell are you? I got this strange feeling he's this way. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I've been looking around pointlessly for the whole episode. <laughs> cost! Yes, I'm glad you're here. Hello. Out of all the people to help us, a dragonborn. I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. Yeah, that's where I found six new recruits, um, ready to begin their training. They're up, up, upstairs waiting for you. Yes, I believe they are all waiting in the courtyard for your return. But before we address them, I need to ask you something. Alright, what is it? Well, you saved my life from that stinking prison, and I value your opinion on their skills. I was wondering if you would be willing to help me with the evaluation of these new recruits. Alright, well, uh, what do you need me to do? We've been getting reports of trouble from people all over Skyrim. Bandits, vampires, Torger, and whatnot. If you could scout out some of these reports and take a recruit with you each time, we can evaluate their skills more quickly. Well, yeah, okay. Great! I hoped you would help. Please, follow me to address the recruits. See me after, and we'll get started on the evaluations. Alright, so... If I follow you, you follow me. Strange, Kadojo. I'm to be sort of like a leader here. Addressing these... these... these young... bodyguard type people. <laughs> Guards or something. Uh... I don't. I never much relish the role of leadership, you know. Suppose I better get used to it. I'm sort of running things here. Well, not really. I'm just kind of, you know, helping out. 
but uh, I default I'm sort of becoming an important person here. Oh, Patsy, how you doing? I gotta get going. Where are you, Cost? Alright, but getting ready to address the students. Recruits! Front and center. Form a line right here. Let's see now. What do we have here? A lizard, a cadman, a puny nod, and a woman. <laughs> you are a pitiful lad, aren't you? Sir. 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 You sound like a bunch of baby mud crabs. When I ask you a question, the first and last thing to come out of your fetal sewers will be Sir. Now say it like you have a bear. Sir, sir, yes, sir, 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 sir. What happened to you, lizard? Did your mother have any eggs that hatched? Sir, yes, sir. Well, all of you are flabby and weak. But today, we begin your training. You will patrol. You will train on the targets. And I might just let you get a little sleep. How about you, Breton? What's your story? I want to become an adventurer, like you. And no one in my family ever did anything exciting. I aim to change that. Oh. <laughs> Seeking fame and fortune, eh? Well, you'll be adventuring soon enough with our friend here. Each one of you will be going into the field to look for strengths and weaknesses in your combat skills. It will not be easy. It will be hard. But maybe with proper training you might just become skilled enough to have a home here. Now then, you each have your assigned duties and training to resume, so get to work. Now, soldiers! Sir, 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 sir. sir, sir, sir. sir. Interesting. Well, after the training, I suppose. Talk to Cost here, I guess. Speak to Cost.